He went to Paris looking for answers to questions it bothered him so. He was impressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. With a warm summer breezes and a French wine and cheeses, kept his ambitions at bay. Summers and winters, scattered like splinters, four or five years slipped away. And he went to England, played the piano, married to an actress named Kim. They had a good life, she was a good wife, for him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers and all of the questions he locked in his attic one day. Cause he liked the quiet, clean country living, and twenty more years slipped away. And the war took his lady, and the bones killed his baby, left him with only one eye. His body was battered, and his whole world was shattered, and all he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalling the answers that he never found. So he hopped on a freighter and skipped the ocean, left England without a sound. He lives on these islands, fishing for pilots, drinks his green label each day. He's writing his memoirs, losing his hearing, and he don't care what people say. Through 86 years of perpetual motion, if he likes you, he just smile and say, Jimmy, some of it's magic, some of it's tragic, but I had a good life all the way. As he went to Paris, looking for answers to questions that bothered him so.